Greetings, viewers. Welcome to another exciting episode of Ellen Kisa, the Royal Talk Show, with me, your beautiful host, Ellen Kista. In this episode, I will be speaking with a very creative individual who has made his way to the ranks of Sierra Leone and fashion designers who are doing extremely well outside of Sierra Leone. My guest is an entrepreneur and a philanthropist, and he is the CEO and founder of Nix Fashion. Who is he? Find out right after this break. Let's watch The Real Talk with Aline TV Show. By our very own daughter of Sierra Leone, Aline Kistar. Welcome back to Aline Kistar, The Real Talk Show. And he goes by the name Ishmael Brahma Koroma, the CEO of Nick's Fashion. Welcome, 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 welcome. Brimzy, actually. <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's Thank up, what's you up, very up? much for having me. Um, first of all, you see this. This is Nick's fashion. I'm rocking it, and I look good. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you for my gift. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, I mean, I'm proud to know you're Sierra Leonean. Um, yeah. of course, um, Brimzy day in Malaysia, but they do so many big things where they don't feature them internationally. But Salon, we still not get, you know, the the hand of it for no waiting you they do. But tell me small bits about your journey. How you begin, I mean, teach Malaysia, doing all these big things. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> so anyway, let me just break it down for you, right? Okay. So um, I started now, so I be the, I be the salon, I be the Como salon. Okay. I travel all the way to um, Singapore. Okay. And then from Singapore, I was a little bit stranded there. And I run out of cash and I become homeless in Whoa. Singapore. I sleep in the street of Singapore for 27 days. Whoa. Yeah. So it's like I was just lucky enough there was a place that by the call uh Ultra Road mm -hmm. and I was walking along the road and then I saw some Africans there. Mm -hmm. They were four in numbers in the hotel. And then when I see them, I was so happy. <laughs> I didn't have somebody in country for almost two weeks and I was the black man. So I was somewhat happy, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I walk up to them and you know, we meet and have some discussion. Mm -hmm. So another white guy, when an American guy can meet me and say, where are you guys from? I was like, I'm a Sierra Leonean. The guy's, oh wow. So the guy can take me attention to start for talk and then I start for phonotize my accent. <laughs> yeah. So now another guy just came from nowhere. The guy asked me, it's like, are you, where are you from? I said, I'm like, Mina Saloma. The guy said, wow. So but he doesn't sound like Sierra Leonean. I said, it's normal thing in the streets, right? Mm -hmm. You have to like make yourself in a way that you, you can fit in along the line. Mm -hmm. And the guy said, okay. Um, like, I want to talk to you tomorrow. So is it possible for us to meet here? I'm like, I said, okay, yeah, we can meet, you know? So first thing in the morning, the guy just called me. He was like, where you are? I said, I'm in the mocks. Because I'm mocks, I be keep me bag. <laughs> it's got a bag, you know? So we do clean. I just wake up in the morning, this, this house, I be asleep. Mm -hmm. And then I go to the mocks. I go wash quick, quick. Mm -hmm. And then I all ablution, I pray. So where the guy called me? Mm -hmm. I said, I'm like, I'm in the masjid. Okay, he so, said, okay, come, come over. The same place we saw me the last time. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. I go meet the man, and then the guy just say, I want me to do something for me. Just make a phone call for me. The same accent we present last night. Mm -hmm. Do the same thing. I'm like, I said, okay. I said, that's all. He said, yeah. And tell me what you for do. And then the next thing, the next evening, just say, come and go buy tickets for you go to Malaysia. Black man in Bokude. Whoa. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. So that, that phone call that he makes, and he suspects that they... For one MVP. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. You just you I don't really just know. For this because thing. I was in a desperate situation, right? right? Of course. Yeah. yeah. And I, I mean, needed I help. I so know. I didn't even ask whatever thing that you do, whatever thing the phone call is meant for. Yeah. So you <laughs> just give me the call and then I made a call. Okay. You know, and then I just go with the flow. Yeah. At the end of the day, he rescued me. That's yeah, what true. I care about. <laughs> <laughs> you go to Malaysia. But why Malaysia though? You want to go to Malaysia or not the only other place like we not see really. black man business? Intentionally, mm -hmm. I forgot America. Oh, that was my intention. Okay. So I, I mean, think like, okay, if I go to Malaysia, I'm going to spend like three months there, do some hot job, whatever job that they bring to me, go work, and then try to get some money, continue my joining. So my plan was, so can I get an American visa? Okay. So my plan was, from Malaysia, we will get a direct flight to the go Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Bahamas now will be more easier for me. For so if you just go in Exactly. Mm -hmm. You understand? But when I go there, the picture where I see, we told you I go experience now, two different things. Oh. Yeah, so things become very tough for me. Okay. And I like I faced so many challenges over there, but mm -hmm. I was just lucky enough. I find out say some of the people, mm -hmm. like both um, the Asians, where they can't look for a job there, and mm -hmm. the Africans who are coming there, a lot of them don't get documents. Mm -hmm. And Malaysia, they are so strict when it comes to like illegal migrants and they send them overstay. 
So I can't notice say some of them like no longer hard for good in the center, city center, right? Okay. So and me now, like I was just bold enough and confident enough to just move around. So window clean, I just enter inside the bus, I go inside home. Okay. So like when I'm going there and then I come back, I met some guys. So it's like I see one Pakistani guy, they mm -hmm. call some kind of like second hand thing they sell me there. Okay. So I'm like, if this guy is selling to now, so I'm not saying they sell by the thing. Yeah. So yeah. So now how like I start for getting some little cash, then I go direct at the place I buy a second hand thing, then some use goods and everything. Mm -hmm. Because no people in the city center may be free for police or like immigration reading, right? Mm -hmm. So I take that opportunity, I begin to do my business. If you go buy a second hand account to them. Mm -hmm. So it's like I begin to sell that small, 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 small. Then small, small, you small. develop the, the, the passion for say, okay, you know, instead of you do second hand thing, and they actually do me on brand. Yeah. Because actually, 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 um, there was a guy that I met, like, he had my passion so much. Mm -hmm. He asked me, like, you doing this thing, right? He said, see, if we're going to get the customer service, like, you're going to get the customer base that you needed, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, like, why don't you try to put some value to this thing? Mm -hmm. That thing that he said to me means a lot. Right. So, I went home mm -hmm. for two days. This thing, like, I didn't think about that. Two days complete. Okay. So, now I said, well, you know what? Let me just start something unique. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then I start to think of names. Okay. Yeah, so like, but that was going to be the next one, like why mix? Like, yeah, because right. I think example go into the name of Ishmael, the Brizzy, the Goban, that's what mix the yeah, name. Exactly. <laughs> so it's like when I start that, and then I sit down, I think I bring up some different different names. First of all, I want to start with the country name, with name Shabby, meaning something with Peter. Okay. Yeah, not in the world. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's like I said, no, this name, like, even though, like, you know, come on, but it will sound a little bit. It's difficult for people to pronounce, right? So that's why I might think of something very unique, maybe even people know it as a slang. Mm -hmm. Nothing. The second thing kind of made, I started picking it. So I might think of, like, my stuff for a great name, picking a name there. Maybe it will be unique. So now I write me, picking a name there, all with some name there, all. Now I start now, I say, the N will represent Nathaniel. Okay. The E, now it swings them, Emily and Emela. Okay. The K, now it's one name, when I call Roma. Okay. The S, when I continue, shall be. So this is how it didn't come about. Mix. All right. Yeah. You sound like you, you sound like ribs because now in the shows of your family unit is all. <laughs> but hey, I, I like it. I think it's yeah. easy for just pronounce like mixed fashion. Mix, yeah. Yes, yeah, exactly. exactly. um, so when you begin um, to to being where you are now, I'm pretty sure you must not go through some challenges as, did, as your did. brand. So can you just basically explain some of the challenges you've come through? Um, we all get with you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Your mind. exactly. First of all, Asia to be specific. For somebody for the in that particular part of the continent and you survive your business, mm -hmm. it's very difficult, right? But the thing is that one of the challenges we have faced, one I face a lot of backlash, but me and fellow Africans, because you know, some people only like for see we you did behind them, like we really, really under them. While some people don't like for me to see we uh you know before, right? Right. Yeah. So what I did was like um the things we asked us for bring up something very unique as like the contacts from China, Vietnam, um, Turkey. So we didn't select some kind of value in it. And I asked up for get this support by Israel from your fellow Africans. Oh my god. Yeah. And the worst part of it is like um the Asians, the only way we be able to work with them is like now when you start to do collaborations with them. With them, okay. Yes. So when you start to do collaborations with them, and mind you, when you do this collaboration, it has to be in their own interest, not in your own interest. Absolutely. I mean, just about them. So you know, matter in other words. Whatever thing that you do is all about them. They don't even care about you. Oh my all, God. All the thing is, is about them. Okay. But I, like, I know exactly what I'm up to. Okay. So I just have to like lie low and go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Because I know at the end of the day, I need to market the name. Right. You understand? I need to market the brand for it to go out there. Okay. So towards the time, like they realize that this is what is going on. Okay. And then I already get it. Gain the attention where I need. You understand? Okay. Yeah. So when I get the attention where I need, and then I started like for be say, okay, you know what? Let me start for push me forward. Push. So do you have a store there or like just maybe online? I, I, I have a concept store. Okay, you do have a concept store. A concept store, yeah. Okay. Okay. So currently it's like there are three shopping malls in Malaysia with the display in them. Okay. Yes. And at the same time also I get a collaboration so somebody like work in Australia. Okay, different so, other people. Yeah, different other people. Okay, so hold your thought. Um, don't go anywhere because I'll be right back after this. Small businesses are not small. Mm -hmm. 
They keep you pumped. They keep you learning. They keep you healthy. They keep you stylish. They keep you fed. Happy birthday to you. They keep you smiling. We can do all of this because they keep us moving. At UBA, we keep your small business moving because your business is big business. Ready to get moving? I am still here. Of course, this is Ellen Case to the World Talk Show, season six. You already know, new set alert when the building. But anyways, today we're going to talk about fashion. I'm um, a guest um, where I get with me, you know, come all the way to uh, Malaysia. However, not Sierra Leonean. And he did do in own fashion, I mean, get your own fashion brand. We actually do it. Next. But anyways, before I go any further, <laughs> welcome back, Brimsy. Welcome, Thank welcome, you. welcome. Thank you. I like the Brimsy name. Then you get the next thing. I, 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 you know, I like, just want to call you next. Day. I remember saying, okay, and I no, just a fashion anyone, brand. Anyone. Go, anyone. Anyway, you answer. Anyone. I had the same. <laughs> okay. So we did talk about um, your brand, where you actually yeah. get a concept store in Malaysia, which I think is very good for Sierra Leonean. And nothing says if Salon Posse go, they accept. If they know you, they're not going to you no say, like, you know, the quality no, is course. good. Of course. Thank you. You know, but me, I can look for people that like enough for really show me off outside to the world which you have done where you come from salon they're not really no know you like that which is got for the for many serial unions inside salon you know know about the brand and see how we will support your brand um well this is something that i'm having a meeting with um mumuni i, I don't know mumuni fashion oh, okay. mumuni fashion yes mm -hmm. like two days ago um i met him in his office and we got some Discussions where I come up with an idea okay. for me to organize a fashion show, a fashion one way show, like this nice. is coming December. Okay. So we yet to conclude on it because um, we need for get a confirmation from the venue where we don't contact. Mm -hmm. And then also the, I, the motive was for me to be able to try for come with different, different local brands, them, and okay. also with the brands of the diasporas, mm -hmm. we will come together and try for showcase both the African and the Western culture, we blend it together, we, blend it we together. put okay. them out. Mm -hmm. And at the same time also, we want to try for able to work on the the the, 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 the models in a, a salon mm -hmm. for make you able to try for um, like help them out there with the connections we don't get at the country that we will be mm -hmm. for make you able like for represent salon at that side. Because then the other the thing we I know saying that Ishwa gets with you, but then I you know I saw some of the magazines that we you did it, but then there was no Sierra Leonean model. No, I mean, there is one Sierra Leonean there. I uh, really yeah, there is a guy by the name of Ishmael Bangura. Well, how are we going to say that Sierra Leone not something like that? <laughs> would they expect say with this you, this or this opportunity you're going to say and everything else? You suppose for the able come do you shoot and I answer and then post them pictures and then make it go now. You know that in a whole part of you know. Supporting yeah. the Sierra Leonean models. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, because what I see, I thought I did have vexed for I say, ah, we don't see nobody. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, but we're so, working on it. We're working, working on it. it. So hopefully, on December, we'll be able to see yeah. something. Yeah. Because now that's another thing, collaboration goes a long way. I think partnership, this whole thing of, you know, everybody wants to isolate themselves. It really not the work because Mumini gets in your brand. Of course. And then, of you, course. you know, like I, I met you online, but then, of course, I was curious to talk to you because what you do compared to what you do is totally different. So imagine that we say, makes the African plus this. Rest, yeah. It's dope. What about other um, fashion designers? You don't meet with them on just Mumini for right now? Uh, for now, not only Mumini, but there is another brand also, um, we don't call Kushe. Okay. Uh, Sierra Leone will be based in the UK. Okay. So, like, um, I, I have some few discussions with him mm -hmm. and uh, I'm waiting for him to give me like a final feedback okay. depending if he's ready for work with us you okay. understand? so basically like these are the two people right now we don't talk to and then the local brand they also um before I come here before I left today I go for go back meet another one around the Lumley area okay so it's like we're supposed to get a meeting there so before and, you go back, you go make sure to check for yeah, exactly, and meet all exactly. those people. Then. You know, okay. sometimes some people, when you try to contact them, they feel very special or very busy, you know? So sometimes <laughs> I'm like... Know, I'm, but maybe they are busy. I'm pretty sure you're in Malaysia, you're busy. You're on a holiday. I'm busy, right? I'm but busy. they live here, you know? Yeah, they live here. Yeah, but the mm -hmm. thing is like, no matter how busy you are, right? 
I like I'm open. Even if you call me when it comes to business, even right. if you call me two a.m. in the morning, I'm available for you. Okay, you understand? Mm -hmm. Because it's like now business they make a day Saturday. Now business they make a day survive. So I'm not got no time, honestly speaking. Because okay. it, no, there is a statement which says that it's different between an employee and a business owner. Right. A business owner looks after the business. An employee, they go say, why oh, do you call me at this time of the night? Man, they ain't pay me for this time. I sleep. Mm -hmm. But as a company owner, your wish is to make sure the business grow. Of right? course. So you go take all the risks, whatever. You know, whatever you get for the you get for the risk, you get for the Exactly. For <laughs> and I, I get it. Um, when you're in Malaysia, you know, another thing where I read, because, you know, I dig into your profile. Um, you don't sponsor so many events in Malaysia. You see reunion. We're struggling in the industry. Yeah. I know you don't kind of, you don't see. Okay, now when I do a fashion show where they come, God in power, it will happen. But so many of the, the the models, they need help. You know, I mean, shows and day, but cool people then get um, ideas of shows. Why make you not ever try for a venture into sponsoring an event in Sierra Leone? We get for those fashion. Not so now you will to prior to this now. Well, uh, I've been only think of it. Okay. I've been only think of it. Mm -hmm. But for me, uh, what I was looking at, what I was thinking of is like, first of all, we need for coming for making a bull like find a way of training the models, you understand? It's not only by sponsoring them, right. by training them so that if they see them go and go on at the international stage, it mm -hmm. will be much more easier for me to relate with whatever theory they will meet on the stage there. Mm -hmm. Because I watch so many of them, I pick up many flaws, and <laughs> you understand? But um, not small, small, right? Oh yeah, small, small. Yeah, yeah. we try step by step for make we reach there. Mm -hmm. So, and the person also I notice in the agency, we don't start an agency, we know that how I, how I. Mm -hmm. I get intention actually for reach out to them, you okay. understand? Mm -hmm. And it was actually a couple of hours ago, we I try for make we meet somebody, we we would give me in contact right, before we reach out to them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, that would be really good. Like you say, we not together with it. I even say, I think on the radio for say, with, you know, the limited resources that we get exactly. and everything else, we really did try. Because most of them people that so we um, decide for go into fashion or be models, I was going seen on TV. They don't have that proper training. Most of them, yes, but they're trying, honestly. But they're they That's really what I'm saying. Trying. So imagine they're really all now they're out there, we probably don't expose more to learning. I feel like for say, you know, you know, when when I come, that I don't really need for do, because everybody's dream. I mean, all might get their own passion, they get their own dream. But most of the young girls, they want to be models. Indeed, indeed. You know, even the guys, when you see them, you know, we have a lot of fashionistas. They want to be, you know, models as well. And the jobs are very limited because most of these companies, um, you know, the headquarters are they different, different side them. So even if you do commercial. For example, now whatever the headquarters say that they now they go put a billboard them and things like that. So now who now they do the clothes, being you know fortunate to be on different magazines. Now who now go for pushment and see Sierra Union. Yes, you understand. So I want when you go back, your next line where you did drop. Let <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, now but I mean even if you're not able to take them to Malaysia. You will fly, come in and do everything now. So look, we go salon fine. One time you see, not get location. No, no, actually, uh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. yeah, actually, this lady, uh, Natasha Becklin, uh -huh. I met her yesterday around Abadin uh, runabout. Mm -hmm. Like, I approached her, I, I saw her standing there, and then because I don't message her, if I'm not mistaken, it's like almost a month plus. Mm -hmm. And posted something on Facebook relating about like taking models to uh, I think Turkey or so. Mm -hmm. She mentioned that like, different countries, right? And I dropped her a message that okay, I go willing for me I will give you connection with these people. Okay. But you know, say celebrity always busy, not all everybody message they will respond, which understandable. Mm -hmm. So I see her yesterday, then I stopped and then I walk up to her, talk to her, like I message on her Facebook, been as a person, I introduce myself to her. And I said, I go on for me, I will give me your contribution. Mm -hmm. Towards the ceremonial, the way they try for going to the fashion industry, they already do modeling. Right, that's nice. And so lucky enough, she said there is an event that we are supposed to attend in Malaysia. Oh. So yeah, so immediately like we exchange um, contact. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So I tell and say, when did the show reach? Men just make a know, and then because most of the events, the fashion events, them the. The 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 the, the pageant thing we do going under, like you mostly reach out to me for sponsorship. Okay. So it's like. Whatever, whenever time we get, maybe more we will pray for, we will talk or uh, we I'm pretty sure now we yeah. don't know. Miss, go, you know, that's like my little sister. So I go push and make it really get in contact with you because yeah. the struggle. Natasha don't care for do so much, but okay, yeah. so money no day. Anyone gonna be able to do all of the things? Go then franchise the also, but then. Money, so imagine you because you're in a ball last if you talk about sponsorship, you sponsor all my now. Malaysia, you're not going sponsor me now, Leon. Not make up expert, but anyways, I don't want you to move. I'll be right back after this commercial break.
Doro World Traveler. How is your Miami vacation going? Fine, babe. I'll be back next week and I've bought you a lot of things. Well, I hope the designer bag you promised is included. No excuse this time. That expensive bag? Uh, babe. I am now in Malaysia. UBA cards work from Moscow to Malaysia, from Malaysia to Miami. Bros, you can't escape this time. Hey, uh, babe, babe, are you there? I can't hear you again, though. Your line is breaking. Hello? Hello? Wherever you travel in the world, don't go without your UBA card. UBA, Africa's global bank. Welcome back to Ellen Kiss to the Real Talk Show Season 6, y'all. We just started. It's going to be lo a long, long year. And we did talk about everything and so many things. In the building with me, I get Brimzy Wena Ishmai Brahma Korma Wena, the CEO of NYX Fashion. He's based in Malaysia. And definitely, you know, I'm wearing one of his brands right here. This shirt is really nice. It's really Thank cute. You. And I look Thank good. You. you need for puts me by your modeling thing there. Okay. okay. Anyways, welcome back. Yes. <laughs> I need to be on a... a I need for me on portfolio. You know, I know <laughs> they're plus size models. You know, you see what I mean? I think I look good for my age, right? 100%. Okay, good. 100%. All right, good, good. <laughs> but anyways, when they talk about um, events that we just sponsor, uh, Gladi, for the fact, will say you don't begin collaborate with the um, Sierra Leone and fashion designers because um, we have a lot. And like I said, with the limited resources, I think we're really doing a good job. Now, we don't begin going to London Fashion Week. Of course, Momini don't represent me in South Africa. They went to London. Yeah. And as a Sierra Leone, I'm seeing they're like proud um, to say, okay, that's us. And then you, they, yeah, and they do so many things. You mentioned, say, you, 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 you brand in our three different stores in Malaysia. So somebody could have passed this, probably never even seen that you. Yeah. But, it is but even the it name is. itself, like a lot of people even know it's. I, I never would have known. Yeah. Exactly. So now we yeah. push this and everything else. And we talk about the sponsorship of the things that we don't do in Malaysia, but. You they can't sell them, right? Can't sponsor you, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But I invite you some of the events there. So because I'm going to go through your IG, I realize, say, you know, um, you're like the first black African in the end. We go for doing something with Malaysia. Can you yeah, kind of yeah. explain? Um, because I was sitting there like, uh, I know him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, um, the last year, 2023, okay. uh, Miss Africa Malaysia, I was the first Sierra Leonean and the first african to be a judge wow and also i was one of the sponsors for the event for miss africa malaysia 2023 okay. and i also sponsored mrs earth malaysia okay. and i also sponsored uh booked malaysia and i also sponsored mr malaysia mansard 2022 okay yeah and i also sponsored um supermodel universe malaysia so mm. that, a lot of events, I'm not able to mention everything. Because <laughs> you don't do a lot. Yeah, exactly. Um, we're, we're proud of you. Thank you Thanks. so much for, you. for doing that. Thank but I'm glad you too much because I want for you a sponsor. Miss Universe where they go. You know, Miss Sierra Leone. Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, we exactly. bats like that. Um, however, I, um, the other good thing about you, you they actually give back. You know, then on the fashion side. And, and you're already working on the things that you're missing. Now, I want to talk about the giving back, which I think was really nice. You know, with every tweet they make, Obanda, you actually donate books to, you know, actually, you're old school. Can you yeah, really talk yeah, about yeah, that? Like, yeah, why yeah. you decide for the Um Actually, this is something that I've been doing, like, when it's at the canton. Okay. You know, like I think this is third or fourth donation alone in saloon. Right. So it's like um there was a time that somebody contacted me and say, um, do your former primary school, like the way the conditioning and everything, like it's a little bit like poor. So it's like I said, okay, like can you please help me? Let me speak to one of the teachers. Right. So you go out there and then get one of the teachers and then contact and I try for speak with them. I said, okay, well, you know what? Um I'm going to come in for me to like donate some books for the kids because, you know, as the government, they are they in the process of like empowering girls child education and also empowering uh, the, the youth for make sure like they will achieve their goals at a young age. Mm -hmm. So I decided for me to come up with an idea like donating books. But before this, I donated a uh, uh, football vest to the Sahelian Muslim Congress. Okay. Like you say. Mm -hmm. And also... When um, 2020, that was a uh, state cleaning exercise, we then called Cleaning Day monthly. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the first um, Saloman at the diaspora, we can join mm -hmm. the, the Salon Police Force and Lomley Police Station okay. for join the cleaning exercise in the street. Yeah. All right. 
Oh, so you get for the continue for the dorm. It's something that so actually it's, it's like about just, doing it's, every year. So it's really about your school. What about the other school then already suffer? It's something it that I'm intending to do okay. regularly, you know. All right, I look but forward at to least it. charity begins at home. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I so I need to start. I mean, better than that thing because yeah, exactly. you know, Boku, I mean, and you know, I need to talk for anybody we're not able to do one because Boku and for them are able, they're not able. So the little self we want to do self, I think we appreciate it. Like you yeah. say, if you get for start with one, small small, you get for move to the next, to the next. So I'm for go small um back to to next fashion which are some of the things that we do do as well you know like of course this you know even though it looks good and me being a female i can rock it but i think it's more of a of a man um fashion now you do, do or you do, do no both. blend you i did make sure say each and every costume workout like both is unisex both male and female okay so if you watch like most of the photo shows on instagram you find out see the girl women's side and the female the demand side okay so it's like um we do like mostly casual streetwear, sportwear, you know, stuff like that. Okay. And we also talk um, about um, exporting your brand to Australia. What do you plan for those under, or, or you um, already get some? No, um... it's something that I'm working on right now. Okay. Because I just do it to make we like conclude on the agreements and everything, you understand? Mm -hmm. Because it's like sending your merchandise to someone, to another country, you have to have a like proper agreement, understanding yourself, like so you guys can document and everything before you ever start to do shipments. Okay. But basically, I got a very good customer base in Australia. Okay, good. Yeah. So, um, of course, we almost come to the end of the show, but I have to ask you this question. Now you don't come, and you already don't begin to talk about some small because you say you don't see some of the models them, and you feel like for say we, we, you know, there's a lot of flaws. Yeah, exactly. Um, but what do you think about the fashion industry? This is you saying it from your heart. Like I say, for me, I feel like for say whatever it is we're doing, we did try. We did push, and I think so we'll get there. But how do you feel? What do you you feel so we need to do a lot more? And besides the training that you mentioned, any other thing where you feel so good, it will help the fashion industry? Uh, well, uh, basically, we get for embrace real culture. Okay. Very important, right? Because if you find out, say, a lot of people they want to have for, like, mimic the Western, like, style, you understand? Know, but that's uh, what you're doing. This is the Western style. You're talking about embracing the but culture. But I just said to you previously, I said we need to me like, we need to do collaborations to blend both the African okay, and the Western you, culture. So, okay. <laughs> basically, I'm not based now, yeah. Okay. Understand? So okay. the initiative come up Abideyanda. Because you be there yeah, Exactly. So, okay, you got me on that one. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So one of the things we are actually uh, pick up is like most of the the models um, like uh, you know, you get enough time for invest for train the picking them for train the models them mm -hmm. and. Um, Everybody want to become a model. Everybody want to become a brand owner, right? But the key things missing here because it's like your brand is your identity, right? Okay. Not just go sit down, go get you close to still up, everybody then do that. You see, don't get brand. <laughs> you understand? So one of the things we would have to look at the material we produce mm -hmm. because the material is very important. Some customers they even care the printing. They only care about the material. Once they feel the material, oh, this is good. You understand? Mm -hmm. They don't even care about how you print them. They just they buy. Right. So the the production sometimes it's really poor. Most of the brand don't come across like no disrespect, right? But most of the brand don't come across the production is somehow terrible. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you know, okay. like because I did take my time, honestly. Mm -hmm. I take my time to go do window shopping. Mm -hmm. I park me with car somewhere. I go work at them boutique them. I go work at them like, stores them yes, around. Make, can, see. make I see all side of problem day. And which because me and a man, I'd always learn from other people's mistake. Of you know course. Yeah. So it's like when I go around and then I see, I they make sure, see, I get me small notes part, I they write down those mm -hmm. things because so many things I did, I don't remember everything. So it's like those things, and these are one of the major things that I pick up. See, the material where they produce, it's no, it's not perfect. I'm okay. not gonna lie. But you know, things in Adandin are some of the challenges we I feel like for see we get because I don't get a couple of fashion designers um, now. So we in Adandin, you see the fabric. We know forget access to good fabric is also an issue. So in other words, you have to say if we're not able to get the good material, we're not one. Basically, <laughs> but sometimes that's how I feel. Nothing not wrong with that. If you're able, if you're able to do one right, don't do it. You know, the quote we always say, the Americans say, you know, it's either you go, you know, you go hard or you go home. So is that what you're saying as well? Because they still get their own challenges. So of to course, be honest. of course. Mm -hmm. No, everybody get what's saying they start. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like um, when I start me on, I start me on in that Jumawi. So I become that this way. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. So now small, small. But the yeah. thing is that when you try to do something, like make sure see you drum in a 
way that you're able to convince people. Eh? And it's one of the things we delect the moment you actually get the attention of, of people, eh, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, you just grab, you go, go, and then without able to produce something good for people. Eh? You understand? I, I'm not going to lie. Every type of fashion and money. You want to do photo shoots and money. You want to produce good material and money. You understand? And everything. It's about, like, you know, you just go say you want, you want to do brand because of brand sake. Make sure so you do something organic. The way we convince people, the way we help people out there. See. When something nice, you need it for marketer. Yeah. Now in the market itself. Mm -hmm. And just the member person buy them, another person go see them and say, oh, this is good. Yeah. And other so they know the, the deals they go. All right, well, pause right there. I can't practice <laughs> and Samza or Samza say, good for you, no need side. But I love that. Anyways, I'm going to write because I'll be right back after this. Hi, I am Leo, a super geek who's obsessed with artificial intelligence. I'm sure you're wondering how I got here. Hi, Tony. It's been hard trying to find a quick way to send the cash across to you. The bank is quite far from where I stay. Girl, I'm trying to call that pop-up shop I saw on IG. I need them shoes for a party this weekend. Wait a minute. I can solve all these problems. All I have to do is get back to my geek zone and get cracking. That's how I created this great virtual solution. Chat with me on Facebook Messenger and experience a whole new world of banking solutions without going to the bank. Make transfers, buy airtime, <laughs> get account statements and more. After all, going to the bank is boring. Like, I can't drink this delicious coffee and fill a teller at the same time. Get it? We're almost at the end of the show. Welcome back to Ellen Kiss to the Road Talk Show. This is season six. Welcome back. Welcome back, Brimsy. Welcome. Thank Brimsy and I fashion designer. If you just walk in, of course, we did talk about Nick's fashion. We had actually rock in brand right now. Um, it is careful to see how you will collaborate with those, you know, Sierra Leone and fashion designer because, you know, Dina and so and everything else. So we did talk about the fashion industry before we go on a break. Um, you did talk about some of the things that we you see. Like where you mentioned fabric. You know, the cheapness of the fabric, you know, like we say, Mumini in the put a lot of work in, you know, and I make it go bigger and bigger. And like we say, we're something good in us for sell. What thing else you go facing our issue before, you know? Um, the thing again, but I just um, notice again and it's mm -hmm. again, you know, uh, the brand owners, them, they get their own challenges. Okay. But in order for you to face the challenges, you get to put more effort in it. Mm -hmm. So some people, when they start the business or when they start the brand, the moment they face some one or two, three critics, they feel relaxed. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. And those relax, now they, 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 they're waking points for making, for making they put on more energy for making the business grow, for mm -hmm. making improve your ideas then. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it's like, um, the thing again we I just um, noticed in that again is like, you know, when you do business, you got to make sure you dedicate your time. Right, right. Without time, there is no business. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, we just go, like, produce one or two clothes. You need to, like, you need to pursue that for making make sure so you reach yourself as opposed for reach. Mm -hmm. Then you feel so you don't get business. No. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there are things that we are we are, we are notice from, I'm not going to mention name, I'm sorry about that, you know. <laughs> but there is thing, there are things that um, I had a discussion with someone that owns a, a brand also that said to me, ah, Salomon, I need help. Because we call something, we didn't say this is this is the price, and they don't use to that Chinese something. I'm like, bro, if you bring something good, trust me, you don't need everybody for market for you. Just need one person for buy that clothes from you, and that person they with young people that we get within around, within the around and then go help you for market the clothes. Mm -hmm. Even though your business in marketing, mm -hmm. but sometimes the the kind of like uh, atmosphere we surround yourself in a salon. Not so everybody will get the hats will say, I will buy something of like one million, just ordinary clothes. Right. Yeah. But if you meet somebody when a real supportive somebody, you give with them call. And getting young people there with them give like say, this person good, my mom support her. You know? And this is what helps me this December. The few one they work out. We can wait. So yes. it was sold out. In other words. So where you talk about um, being um, sold out, where uh, Malaysia, 
So is it uh, um, you're making profit out of it? Of it's not like a lucrative business. How I go, how good those are those finding me profit? I mean, look, so you get people that will just not get that no give up spirit. Like I just talk just now. Yeah. You actually talk about that for say some people they do one or two, then they get critical, they relax. You understand? Yeah. But you, I, I see you. I see a go getter. I see somebody like you begin your story with the sufferness, like you say, you be homeless, and how you in Malaysia, and you turn from Juma now to 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 being here and now sponsoring all those big events in Malaysia. So clearly you're a go getter. You push you understand but that not means say you actually they make money off of it well oh, because you like money in that part but anyway still, still. <laughs> <laughs> so where to go you go say that the next big thing for 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 Brimsy and nick's fashion um the next thing actually we uh try for work on mm -hmm. for now um for getting me a physical store because right now i get oh, concept uh, store okay so i need forget a store like just like for example like when they say gucci are strictly for gucci okay. so I, I need the same store where i what if i work on right now before i left so i just don't do everything over till i left normally i just do renovations and do everything so that we will try for work them out so that you will get like we somebody salomon go back around malaysia and pass the snake store yeah and salomon gets and i'm salomon brother you know okay so now, uh, one of the things. One of the I bigger things. Um, so we, we, I mean, we, we, we hope it works out for you. Yeah, sure. Um, and we, we look forward to the collaboration. Yeah, um, sure. sure. So this is a real talk. That means you now for do I'm whatever. I'm ready. I'm crook. Because we want to see all of this. Now, the thing is, I'm ready, honestly speaking. You mm. understand? Because collaborations helps a lot in the business. Yeah. You understand? Maybe your, your, your audience will get more than me on audience. Or maybe like you will engage more of your followers on your social media page or on your platform mm -hmm. more than mine. Okay. So by doing these collaborations, it's going to help my business and your business. Right. And also for make sure see, we promote the one that we did behind we for make we go before. So mm -hmm. I'm open up for any collaborations. All right, cool. Yeah, especially like the models them. The brand them, um, mm -hmm. brand owners. You know, I'm really, I'm ready to work with anybody. Okay. Yeah. So when are you gonna come back to Sierra Leone before December? I don't think say you get for waiting December for camera. Um, I've not really. I'm not. I'm not sure yet. You're not this sure. Not but sure make yet. sure next week they kind of say work on the trainings already and do all of this different things. You know, um, and I think say that's going to help. If somebody maybe want this right now and and want to follow you on on social media, what's in your social media handle? Um, Nick's Fashion, N-E-E-K-S, F-A-S-H-I-O-N. -E -E okay, now all the, the, the platforms, they're all across? All, all the platforms, Google, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, TikTok, YouTube, everywhere. Okay, so a young boy, a young girl uh, is, is watching you right now and maybe one for do what you do because the way you say, oh man, we then go to Telaman, then put two three things together, and decide, yeah, like they say, then our fashion designers. Yeah. Um, a lot of people don't Ankara as well. Like we say, we did do. It's good to embrace our culture, yeah, but like course, you say, because you did in Malaysia, you decide for do the English version of it. So if somebody now you want to give for say, I'm not for do Ankara, I'm for do English. I want to be Gucci and Prada and all those things. What's your advice that person the way they watch you right now? Never give up. It's very important. Yeah. Never give up. Nobody no go market with culture. We go for market and for yourself. Okay. As long as this is what you believe on. Mm -hmm. If you say you want to do Ankara, I don't know if I pronounce that well. You mm -hmm. understand? If you want to make sure you do answer the perfect way. Mm -hmm. We are in if another person where I'm like another man go see him say, ah, oh, this is so nice on him or her. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's what that person go eager for where I'm. Okay. Like everything about life now challenges. Of course. You go face so many challenges. For me, which make I will reach to this peak where I love for make I the negative side when I'm in fault towards the business than the positive side. Uh -huh. There are people out there we are in, they go see the thing, they go see the fault, but they're not going to tell you, they go just they pretend, ah, anyway, you're fine, yeah, you're okay, you understand? But mm -hmm. deep down themselves, they know, like, you know, fine. Tell me, see, man, this is not good, you understand? But put more efforts, like, next time, do this, do this. And trust me, I need to ignore those, those mistakes. Okay. Anything where you tell me, especially like when it comes to my business, right? Mm -hmm. Those mistakes where they tell me, I'd appreciate it that when somebody tell me the good things. You can't say the good things no more. Yeah. For, you I, know. I just believe that someone put they pretend to you. Someone, yeah, somebody tell you with all your heart, they, they support you, oh. while someone is for making you not feel bad. Mm -hmm. You understand? But I strongly believe, say, no one is perfect. Yeah, true. True. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And no man walks alone. Yes, no man is an island. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's so true. So, I, I, you know, I hope you know you really watch you 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 know like we say collaboration goes a long way. Partnership 
you know, go able to do one by yourself. You know, Mickey always say, Salomon or Sabi Sabi, your man Sabi, no problem. Exactly. I said everywhere, I go, we didn't come in an interview, so far, we didn't get to say, which you think I said, Sabi, no problem, all man Sabi. <laughs> well, not Sabi, not tell with it, guy, but <laughs> I think, say, that we be open to collaboration, you know. Um, yes, thank you so much for coming to my show. I thank appreciate you, it. Um, you, good luck with everything. We didn't ask who they would for you. We didn't look forward <laughs> to. Um, you know the collaboration we plan for. No, no, for can't talk and I answer no more and just say because. <laughs> Make sure say you do one because we get buckle talk money. We know they follow through. Indeed. But you know, Indeed. only I'll, I'll be checking, making sure you guys are you in sync, you know, and everything yeah, exactly. else. All right, you first now you know more give me gifts. Of course, you need left me say without another gift. Oh really? Gift. Yes, I have a free. <laughs> Thank you. My gift in here Thank was you. sponsored by a Pro Sports SL and E cut. So many nice cute things in there. And it's from me to you with love. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of what you think. <laughs> yeah. Yourself, you know, the car wear on, so you take it for where I'm and everything else and show off. You Indeed. hear me? Indeed. Yes. All right. Well, I don't want to go. I've got to go. I've been your host today, Elin Kisa. Till next week. Thank Peace. you for having me.